This is Ibuski in Kagoshima. Kagoshima is famous for its naturally occurring geothermally heated waters, which makes it perfect for onsen. And I've come to Ibuski for one reason in particular, Suna Mushi Onsen. Suna meaning sand, Mushi meaning steamed, onsen, those geothermically naturally occurring waters that we all love to bathe in. Which basically means I'm going to be getting the steam cleaning of my life. There's a lot of geothermal activity here, making great onsen. Kagoshima City is famous for Sakurajima, an active volcano just a few kilometers from the city center. Kagoshima is in Kyushu, on the bottom. Here's the city with Sakurajima looming over it all. Further south is Ibuski, where the Tsunamushi Onsen is. And the spot where I am right now. I took a local train from Kagoshima Chuo Station to Ibuski. It took about an hour. Right away, you could tell the sand baths are famous here. Ibuski is an onsen town. A free onsen foot bath by the station entrance. You can either rent a bicycle or walk the 1.5 kilometers to the sand bath. I walked. Welcome to the Tsunamushi Bath Center. It's 1,080 yen for entrance and the yukata. A small towel will cost an extra 120 yen. Leave your stuff in the locker and head out to the beach. You get buried here. A funny sight to see those heads sticking out of the sand. The recommended time, 10 minutes. The sand is cleaned by being flooded with near boiling hot water from the ground. Let's ask the manager for more information about the Tsunamushi Onsen. あの、温度はですね、だいたい50度から55度の砂をかけています。砂虫はですね、だいたい50度から55度の砂をかけています。温泉は80度ぐらいの源泉が流れています。あの、10分以上入りますと背中を低温やけどをしたり、登せて倒
It surprisingly feels good to be buried alive in this sand. <laughs> The finishing touch is that umbrella, done just like in a cocktail. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> it's hard to find the right words to describe what you're actually doing in the first couple of minutes. It's crazy. You're under really hot sand, and that is just kind of cool. So I've been under for about five minutes now, and I can definitely feel the heat, mostly on my back. And the weight of the sand is doing something strange to my body. I, I can feel like my heart, the blood pulsating through my body. I think that has to do a little bit from the in, improve, increased circulation and the weight of the sand on my arms and my legs and my, my body. But what I notice the most is the cool, sea air that I'm breathing, it's kind of cooling down my body on the inside while the sand is boiling the rest of it on the outside. Am I uncomfortable? No, not yet. Feeling pretty good. So it's about seven minutes in and it's getting hot, especially on my back. This is a time where I can, I can really feel the heat, but if I close my eyes, I can just focus on the sound of the sea nearby. That's really relaxing because <laughs> it's hot. It's really hot. I could keep going. I could keep going. My body was on fire, but my mind and my lungs were cooled by the sea's sound and the fresh breeze. So now it's been about 10 minutes and I definitely feel like I'm on a skillet or an iron. My back's uh, feeling a little bit burned. I've hit the recommended time limit, but decided to push it a little more. Sa, ni, ich. Ah, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, it's heavy! Uh, uh, uh. My body felt very heavy. Movement was slow, but I felt great. I survived the volcanic sand bath. Now, all I have to do is stand up. Prolonged exposure to hot sand can cause dizziness and a total lack of coordination. So I'm out. It was quite an experience. It was bacon in there, really bacon, and now out here, starting to get cool real fast, but definitely this uh, volcanic sand bath experience, you gotta try it. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. If anything, I feel more alive. After the sand, rinse off and take another soak in the fine naturally heated spring water of Kagoshima. That tingling sensation? That's the body either thanking you or slapping you. Either way, you'll never forget the volcanic sand bath experience.
Next time, I hope you're hungry, I head back to Sapporo for some of the local ramen in the historical Ganso Sapporo Ramen Yokocho Alley. Don't forget to subscribe.